Okay, welcome to lecture six of our work hacks in professional development, legal writing, legal advice, legal correspondence, and contracts. Uh, I almost didn't include this one as there are a lot of risks associated uh, with using ChatGPT for legal advice. However, I've been in situations in the past where I've needed a lawyer and asking lots of questions to my lawyer in that situation, whether it's over email or calling uh, the, the lawyer up and getting that advice uh, is a very costly process. And there are some things that are simply basic clarifications of the next steps to take uh, for writing an email, for um, different parts in the legal process uh, that I would have loved to be able to ask a program like ChatGPT to get some general guidance. And if there's anything specific from the general guidance that I need further assistance with, then I can speak to my lawyer. Uh, it's almost like having uh, you know, a tutor in the legal space to give you that um, high level guidance, not specific legal advice or actions or decisions you should take, uh, but really context as to um, what the the general consensus is for dealing with this situation and you can use that um, to kind of fuel the next decision that you make uh, throughout that process so yeah use with caution uh, we've generated some ideas here related to uh, contracts legal correspondence and legal advice uh, these are prompt ideas which can help facilitate the understanding of certain legal processes that you might be in uh, where you're trying to understand the next steps to take and then when you need specific advice um, you kind of seek out professional uh, legal help in that regard but analyzing you know complex legal concepts generating ideas uh, for structuring legal documents or communications um, and using specific language or appropriate tones uh, to communicate with a client or a spouse or whoever is involved in uh, the situation uh, is, is certainly a, a powerful use case uh, to help facilitate the, that process of understanding what to do next. Uh, the example I've got here is analyze statutes and regulations. Um, so interpreting specific statutes and regulations uh, for legal writing. Uh, if you are a lawyer or uh, do have a legal background, I'm sure you can get some value out of seeing what um, you know an AI assistant would come up with and then using that to inform your decision as well. Um, it is not a replacement, remember, it is a supplement. Uh, so you're using it to improve whatever it is you already know uh, and feeding that uh, into your decision making as almost like a third party that's giving you that advice. So let's have a crack at this one here. I need to analyze a new law that has just been passed and need help understanding how it will impact my clients. Can you help me interpret and apply the relevant statutes and regulations? So this here uh, isn't relating to a specific statute. This would create a response that helps you interpret the statute, which I still think is a valuable uh, prompt to have. Uh, of course, there are going to be many blog posts on how to do this, uh, but this gives you you know, a quick uh, bit of guidance. Um, collating the informed advice from those blog posts to help you uh, guide um, through the, the process. So it's added that caveat here. Um, happy to help you interpret and apply the relevant statutes and regulations related to the new law. However, it's important to note that as a language model, I do not have the ability to access current laws and regulations. And my knowledge is uh, based on the information provided to me. Also, my knowledge cutoff date is 2021. So here are some general tips you can take to interpret and apply a new law. Read the text of the law carefully and pay attention to any key terms or phrases. Make sure you understand the specific provisions and requirements of the law, so on and so forth. So it's given you that high level guidance uh, and it's also added an additional caveat or thing to note regarding interpreting laws, that it's best to consult with a lawyer who's experienced in the relevant area. But I've added some further prompts here, like specifying the specific statute to review. You can copy in links or you can copy in, um, you know, the text related to that statute. Um, list keywords for the uh, 
as in like pull out the keywords from the statute that are important to note, and provide an assessment of the relevant legal issues and list resources where I'd be able to find more up-to-date information. So I hope this has given you um, a high level understanding of you know, the potential within the legal space. And again, you know, seek legal advice for any specific de decision making, but ChatGPT can be a cost effective way to help you understand how to better tackle uh, certain procedures uh, or um, navigate certain complex situations when it comes to um, taking legal action. Fantastic. Uh, Again, hope this was helpful and look forward to seeing you in the next lecture. Cheers.